Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse comes from Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. It reads as follows. There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. Before the apostle Paul was in fact the apostle Paul, before he wrote two thirds of the New Testament and was a leader in the early church, ministering to many, many Gentiles, and that was not a thing among the Hebrew Jewish leaders of the early church. He was Saul the Benjamite, Pharisee, religious leader, Christian killer approver. He was vehemently against the way, which is what Christianity was known in the early days, and he sought to stamp it out for good. He was on fire, compassionate, passionate, full speed ahead, on fire for his purpose, for his way. He just knew this new order, this new sect had to be stamped out. He just knew it was blasphemous. It was against God. He was determined to get rid of it. And he was completely, 100%, utterly, totally wrong. Saul basically embodies our verse today. There is a way that appears to be right to a man, but in the end, it leads to death. The same verse can be found in Proverbs 16. Have you ever been there? You just know that this thing is the right thing. This person is the right person, this opportunity, this job, this home, this thing, it's the right thing. You are so sure that it is exactly right. It checks all the boxes off your list. It's the right time, it's the right place, it's the right opportunity. But when you get that thing, it's a big old mess. It's not anything like you were thinking, not anything like you were expecting or hoping for. I think a lot of us have had moments where we thought that this path is the right path to take. And then when we take it, we realize, oh my goodness, it comes with a lot of heartache and pain and sorrow and it wasn't the right path at all. God is merciful. He usually gives us about a bazillion red flags before we step into that thing. And some of us, we are wise, we heed it, we wait and say, oh my goodness, wait, I'm getting sort of these red flags. I'm not sure about this. Is this of God? Others, like myself, once or twice, have just gone ahead and done the thing and realized afterwards what a mistake it was. God gave Saul a red flag. He blinded him, literally, on the road to Damascus when he had that letter and told him, hey, you are going the wrong way. You are fighting against me, not, not other people. You are fighting against me. I want you to stop this. Do this instead. To which Saul obeyed and he turned to the Lord. Friends, the enemy will present you tons of opportunities that seem almost too good to pass up. I mean, this incredible person or more money, more money than you've ever made or an opportunity that is just what you wanted and the list goes on. And it might seem right and it might seem incredible and it might seem as though it's from the Lord, but double check with God, make sure that this is the right way to take, make sure that this is of God, because even though it may seem absolutely incredible, it could blindside you in just a couple of years. I heard this one story of this worship leader who got this incredible job opportunity at this very prestigious large church and it was across the country and they were just over the moon. They were super excited. They were going to move themselves, their whole family across the country, away from their family, their smaller church, their current job for this opportunity. But God just threw up a red flag. He's like, no, don't do this. Don't take this opportunity. It didn't make sense, but they obeyed the Lord only to find out a couple of years later, just not very long later, that the pastor of that large church had a moral failing and it just basically just kind of like wiped the church. I mean, the church suffered greatly. They would have been out of a job very shortly after moving, you know, leaving their job behind, their family, their friends for this opportunity, but they didn't know that. They didn't see that coming. Friends, it may not make sense at first, but always take the Lord's path. It is always the right way. It may not make sense. No, it may. You may want that thing so bad and it may seem very, very incredible, but know that if the Lord is sort of giving you a check in the spirit or throwing up a red flag or it just doesn't feel right, there's a reason for it. God is trying to protect you. He has really good things for you that he wants to get to you. He wants to make sure you don't take the wrong way. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that you always have our best interests at heart, God, and you have a path for us, Lord. Lord, your scripture says that there is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death, Lord. But your scripture also says that you will lead us on the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. So God, we pray that you would lead us, God, on the right path, Lord, for your name's sake, on the paths of righteousness. Help us, Lord, to just 
have discernment, have an unction, have a red flag, have someone speak to us, have an unction that just something is not right, God. If something is not your opportunity, not your path, not sent by you, God, help us to be patient, Lord, to know that you will send the right thing, God, at the right time, God. We thank you, God, that you are helping us, Lord, to navigate kind of the deception, Lord, the pitfalls, God, the landmines that the enemy sets up that look really appealing, God. Help us instead, Lord, to just stay on the right path and trust that you have us, Lord, and you know exactly how you're leading us. We love you, God, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it, and I would love to have you guys. Have a great day, guys. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time, and God bless you.